All right, guys, I'm going to go over Firestar 11. This is going to give you over the first page of the pink notes. Um, maybe the second page depends how long it takes me to do this video. So, basically, I gave you a new hint page. Um, it's attached to Firestar. It's attached to some of the new stuff. And we went over Firestar 10 in class. Or, I'm sorry, Firestar 9. This is Firestar 10. I'm being crazy. It's Firestar 10. All right? So... We talked about triangle relationships. We're gonna just we are going to uh, describe triangles in two ways. We're gonna talk about their angles, we're gonna talk about their sides. If all the angles are acute, that means there's three under under 90 angles, we call it an acute triangle. If one of the angles is bigger than 90, we call it an obtuse triangle. If one of them is a right triangle, we call it a, a right angle, we call it a right triangle. There is a special name for acute triangles if all three happen to be the same exact um, angle that's called equiangular. As far as sides, we have scaling, that means zero congruent side lengths, isosceles means two congruent side lengths, and equilateral means three congruent side lengths. So all we're gonna do is gonna basically answer our questions here. So classify each triangle. Number one, I see oh, I see one, two, three angles that are all less than 90, so I know it's acute. Now I'm going to look at the side lengths. 2.1, 2.5, and 2.5. Well, 2.5 and 2.5 are the same. That means I have two congruent side lengths, so it's going to be isosceles. So that's just a cute isosceles. Number two, I see the right angle right away. Right, so it's, I know it's going to be a right triangle. Now look at the side lengths. They're all different side lengths, so I'm going to say the word scalene. So 4 is different than 2.9, which is different than 4.9. So I'm going to say scalene. Uh, three. Three, I see 112 degrees, which tells me that I know it's going to be obtuse. And then I see, look at the sides, I see 2.2 and 2.2, and that is going to be isosceles. Two congruent side lengths. Number four. I have one, two, three, one, two, three angles. All of them are less than 90. So I number, no number four is going to say acute. And I look at the side lengths. They are all different. Eight is not the same as 13.2, which is not the same as 4.1. So I'm going to say scalene. Done. That's it. That's the entire problem. All right, five, six, seven, eight. I'm just going backwards, right? I'm taking what I had and I'm writing it. I'm taking the I'm taking the words and writing the picture. So I need acute, that means I need to have all angles that are slightly less than 90. Those are all less than 90, all right? Um, we'll say, and if you wanna get really specific, you could always put the angle measure in there. Like I could say this is 61 degrees, this is 59 degrees, and this is 62 degrees. Excuse me. And now they're gonna, we'll say this is um, 2.1, we'll say this one's two, and this one's 1.9. I have three side lengths that are all different. I have three angles that are all less than 90, all right? Acute, let's say, I had an acute triangle. So once again, they're all less than 90. Let's say this is 62. And say this one's 62. So this one's gonna be 56 degrees. All three of them are acute angles. And I'm going to just put a little dash there and there. So that means those two sides are congruent, so that's an acute. Of two scalene, look, I'm gonna make, that's definitely bigger than 90. I don't even have to actually write anything here because unless I put a dash on there, I'm not telling you any of those sides are congruent. Right? I know that's bigger, that that's easily looks bigger than, um, than 90. And then eight, same difference, like look, I don't have to, I could do, 
I don't have to necessarily put um, angle measures in there on number eight. I didn't, and by number six, I did, right? So that's it for uh, one, five, six, seven, eight. For nine, 10, and 11, right? I'm gonna use the triangle angle sum theorem for all three of them. So all three of them are gonna be the triangle angle sum theorem. And I'm too lazy to write the word triangle out every time, so I'm just gonna go triangle angle sum equals 180 degrees. Now the reason it's triangle angle sum and not the other one, and I'll go over the other one later, but if I can easily, without doing any really any hard math or any even really thought process, fill up all three angles in the triangle, I'm gonna use triangle angle sum. Like we know that 130 can be put here because of vertical angles. We know 5x can be put here because of vertical angles, right? 134 can be put here because of vertical angles. I know 130 can be put there because of vertical angles. Now, all of my triangles angles are filled up, which means I could use the triangle angle sum theorem. So I could just say this piece plus this piece plus this piece equals 180 degrees. So I'm going to say 2 plus 7x plus 130 plus 5x equals 180. So that's the biggest idea. Like this is the geometry, right here is the geometry. This is now algebra. So for all three of these, we're using the same geometry, triangle angle sum theorem, because I could fill up the triangle using vertical angles. So we're using something we learned last week and introducing it this week. We learned about vertical angles last week being congruent. We're using that to help us build a completed triangle on the inside which is triangle angle sum theorem. So 7x and 5x is 12x. 2 and 130 is 132. So now I'm just going to solve. Remember, it equals 180. So I have 132 from both sides. I end up with 2x equals um, 48. And now I divide both sides by 2, x equals 24. Now remember, we're not done yet. I do have to change that and put my, my x in. So two, 7 times 24. No, I can't do that. Hold on. I messed this up somewhere. Oh, it's a 12. Huh. So this is a 12. And guys, the only reason I would have caught that, the only reason I caught that is because I did step 3. This is why we do step 3. I wrote 2x for no reason. I caught it because I wrote that. And that made it so I could realize that I had to divide by 12. So this is actually 4. Because I went to plug in 7 times 12, and I saw this as an acute angle. I'm like, there is no way that's possible. But now it's 7 times 4, which is 28. 28 plus 2 is 30 degrees. So this angle right here I don't know where to do that. Yeah, that's better. Um, this angle right here is 30 degrees. I already know that one's 130. Now I'm gonna do five times four, which is 20. So that angle is 20 degrees. 30 plus 20 is, one fifth, is 50, plus 130 is 180, it works. So once again, the biggest, the reason I'm making you guys do three parts of every problem, the geometry, the algebra, and plugging it back in to check, is so you don't make a mistake like I almost just made. All right, number 10. So number 10, number 10, we're going to say the triangle angle sum theorem again, because look, I put 134 right here. Now I get to say x plus 38, so it is triangle angle sum, and I put equals 180 because I'm trying to remember that triangle, all three angles in a triangle add up to 180. So I say x plus 38 plus 134 plus x plus 32 equals 180. Now I put my x's together, so x and x is 2x. 38 and 32 is 70, plus 134 is 204 equals 180. Now I subtract 204 from both sides, I get 2x equals minus 24. I divide both sides by 2, I get x equals negative 12. So I gotta plug that in. 
So I'm going to put negative 12 in right here. Negative 12 plus 38. This is going to give me 24 degrees. So this angle is 24 degrees. Negative 12 plus 32 is 20. So I'm going to put negative 12 in right there. So this is going to give me 20 degrees. And I think I made a mistake somewhere there. Oh, that should be 26 degrees. It makes more sense. Once again, plugging in is making me check my work. 26 plus 20 is 46. 46 plus 134 is um, 180 degrees. Now, the last one I'm going to do is I'm going to do number 11, which is I have the triangle angle sum theorem again. So my geometry is going to be is triangle angle sum theorem. everything up there we go so my i'm going to say 5x that's that piece plus 130 plus 7x plus 2 that's going to equal 180 degrees 5x and 7x is 12x 130 plus 2 is 132 equals 180 Subtract 130 from both, two from both sides. I get 12x equals 48 degrees. Divide both sides by 12, I get x equals four. I plug it in, five times four is 20. So right here is gonna be 20 degrees. Seven times four is uh, 28 plus two. So that's gonna be 30 degrees. And it works out perfect, all right? And that's going to finish this one done, Firestarter 10.